It's called a Gonsol Sports Tour, and it's just one of dozens of cars greeting you at the Bonhams Auction across from the Fernandina Beach Airport. Sure, there's American classics, including a Finn Chrysler Imperial, and then there's some beautiful Italian Exotica. But have you ever heard of a Gogomobile Dart? Like the little Gogomobile, here's another American fiberglass forgotten for years, built in 1959. The Berkeley Roadster is just roomy enough for two and powerful enough for the open road. The original Toyota Land Cruiser is an icon, but again, here is a Land Cruiser four-door pickup truck, obviously designed for safaris and the like. It's got a bunch of bench seats back here under the canvas top. Finns was certainly part of the American design icon for this 61 Chrysler Imperial, but look at the other detailing on here, and certainly unusual standalone headlights. It is a chrome-laden luxury car. You think a classic 1960s Cadillac would be for luxury? No, it's not an ambulance, it's not a hearse. This is a jitney or taxi. Sleek and beautiful, here's a 1961 Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint Speciale Berlina. Beautiful vents on the hood and designed to be a race car with its sleek alloy body. In particular, this is a favorite. It's a 1955 Ferrari 250 Europa GT alloy. The engine, a stunning V12 under the alloy bonnet and beautiful wheels. Two that were alloy body in Europa GTs. So it's the Europa, which is um, you know, the first 250 model. Uh, 250 is a pretty legendary model. And the, uh, the GT is obviously, obviously the more sporting one with, uh, with an alloy body. It's lightweight, competitive. It had a lot of competitive uh, competition bits, uh, magnesium crankcase, things like, or magnesium uh, transmission housing, things like that. Um, it was built to do the Mille Miglia in period, but uh, never ended up doing that. Um, it later did the uh, Mille Miglia Historica, the, the recreation of that event. Um, but uh, just a really special thing. It's been beautifully restored today, and um, is really a ticket on to any number of great events. You know, it's a wonderful Under the tent machine. was a British Invasion with some Austin Healy's and a beautiful Aston Martin Volante. Yes, Lamborghini makes supercars, but do you know that Ferruccio Lamborghini made tractors to begin with? And here's one of them. The gun doesn't work, but you know, if you want to intimidate your neighbors, here's a Demler Ferret Scout car. It was a staple of the British Army back in the day. The star cars are parked under the main tent. That's a Tavo Lago, an Arnold Bristol, a grand Mercedes-Benz, a Bentley, a Porsche, and a classic Ferrari. This is a 1938 Tavo Lago, Lago Special Cabriolet, French coachwork, the detail amazing on the car, and then inside matched luggage and a stunning cockpit for two. T150C, uh, which is, um, you know, it's a pretty meaty model. It doesn't just look good, it goes well. It's got a, you know, basically a competition chassis underneath. Um, uh, the motor's been recently done by Jim Stokes, who's one of the foremost engine builders in the UK. Bodywork was uh, by a design uh, done by Joseph Fagoni, who's a pretty famous uh, coach builder, uh, known for some pretty flashy, wild designs. It was actually a factory body, but uh, pretty famous heritage in terms of the designer who did it. Spent a lot of time um, here in the United States, uh, more recently he's been over in Europe. Uh, it's never been shown publicly, really, in recent times, so a, a new owner would have the opportunity to, uh, to be kind of the first guy to uh, guy or girl to, uh, to show it at Concours and uh, win some pots of their own. Bodied by Bertone, this 1954 Arnold Bristol Roadster is the prototype for a race car and gentleman sports car. They don't call them brass era for nothing. This is a 1911 Pierce Arrow Model 48 Tour. It is brass and leather and it has 
huge wooden wheels. With the Shelby Cobra V8 underneath the bonnet of this beautiful two-seat Allard, I'm Dan Scanlon for Jacksonville.com at the Bonos Auction on Amelia Island.